no American should be killed by a drone on American soil without first being charged with a crime, without first being found to be guilty by a court. If someone comes out of a liquor store with a weapon and $50 in cash, I don't care if a drone kills him or a policeman kills him. I rise today to begin to filibuster John Brennan's nomination for the CIA. I will speak until I can no, no longer speak. I will speak as long as it takes until the alarm is sounded from coast to coast that our Constitution is important, that your rights to trial by jury are precious, that no American should be killed by a drone on American soil without first being charged with a crime, without first being found to be guilty by a court. If someone comes out of a liquor store with a weapon and $50 in cash, I don't care if a drone kills him or a policeman kills him. I was thinking of you, Senator, when I saw this image of this guy hiding in this boat in the backyard. Remember that one? And I thought, yep. apparently with this thermal imaging, you can see a person behind a wall, or in this case, a cover. And I'm thinking, um, geez, what else can these guys see? I didn't even know they had that ability with a helicopter to do that. But then again, I'm not Werner von Braun here. here. I'm just an anger. But I'm telling <laughs> you, then they have the ability to look at me in my home, or you in your home, or anyone right. in their home. Now, this was to a desired end, to track down a bad guy, or an alleged but bad here's guy. The, but here's the, distinct, here's the distinction, Neil. I've never argued against any technology being used when you have an imminent threat, an active crime going on. If someone comes out of a liquor store with a weapon and $50 in cash, I don't care if a drone kills him or a policeman kills him. But it's different if they want to come fly over your hot tub or your yard just because they want to do surveillance on everyone and they want to watch your activities. Yeah, but what if they if accidentally, they have in the pursuit of a crime, Senator, to discover something else that looks uh, bad. And it doesn't even have then, to be I, really, really yeah, bad, we but they'll use that yeah. as justification. Yeah, we shouldn't be. We shouldn't be willy-nilly looking into everyone's backyard and what they're doing. But if there's a, a, a killer on the loose in a neighborhood, I'm not against drones being used to search them out, heat-seeking devices being used. I'm all for law enforcement. I'm just not for surveillance when there's not probable cause that a crime's being committed. And so most of the time you get a warrant, but right. if someone's actively running around with a gun, you don't need a warrant. That's the way our system works. But I don't want the EPA flying over my farm with a drone. I don't want them flying over my backyard with a drone. But you know what I worry about? That you can reconstruct a case against almost anyone to make them look guilty. If someone comes out of a liquor store with a weapon and $50 in cash, I don't care if a drone kills him or a policeman kills him. You know what I worry about? That you can reconstruct a case against almost anyone to make them look guilty. No American should be killed by a drone on American soil without first being charged with a crime, without first being found to be guilty by a court. If someone comes out of a liquor store with a weapon and $50 in cash, I don't care if a drone kills him or a policeman kills him. No American should be killed by a drone on American soil. If someone comes out of a liquor store with a weapon and $50 in cash, I don't care if a drone kills him or a policeman kills him.